All right, guys, so we have Lady Macbeth here, one of my favourite characters, and she is speaking in her soliloquy. That means she's speaking to herself here, giving us her innermost thoughts about wanting to remove the weaknesses that are associated with being a woman. Now, this is probably one of the most remembered and often badly analysed quotes um, in Macbeth. So let's take a little look at it. Come, you spirits that tend on mortal thoughts, unsex me here. So firstly, let's just talk about the bits that people never talk about. Come you, it's an imperative, a command. Lady Macbeth uses commands throughout the play, commanding Macbeth at the start, um, all the way through until she starts to feel that guilt and becomes a shadow of herself. Here she is commanding spirits, which is really interesting. So let's have a look at the spirits. So the imperative shows her power, but what does this idea about spirits show? Well, a couple of things it could suggest. One, that Lady Macbeth is summoning supernatural spirits to help her. Now, that would be an incredibly dangerous thing to do in Jacobean in England and could well see you being executed as a witch. So one interpretation is that Lady Macbeth is herself a witch or is linked to the witches in some way. Um, not a huge amount of evidence elsewhere for that, but something to think about. The other alternate inf inference is that she is summoning kind of the spirits within inside her. What she wants is to be ruthless, to not feel guilt. And this is not things that we expect from a woman at this point, as I talk about in a second. So she's got to find those emotions that she has deep down inside her so that she can do what she needs to do and kill King Duncan, or at least persuade her husband to. So is she either, either summoning spirits, supernatural spirits from above, or is she summoning kind of spirits and courage from deep inside her that are difficult to find? Probably a more likely explanation for me. Then she says, unsex me here, right? This is the bit that's always kind of like, kind of crazily analysed, so let's talk about it. She does not want to change sex. Let's get that first out there. She does not want to become a man. We don't want to use the word transgender in our analysis here. What does she do? Is she wants to remove the weaknesses that are associated with femininity. Kindness, gentleness, guilt. Not necessarily I'd say they're weaknesses. I'd say they're just part of being a normal human being. But for her, what she wants to do and kind of committing murder and all of that, they are fairly useless for that, aren't they? So she wants to get rid of those weaknesses that she and Jacoby in England might associate it with being a woman. Now, down in the link quotations box there in red, I've got some other quotes that show her wanting to get rid of her femininity, such as taking her woman's breast and making her milk gall, making the milk in them poison, uh, and other quotes too that show that she wants to be cruel and evil.